Hello, this is Mr. Wynn, and this video is about proving lines parallel. So in the last video, we used the fact that a transversal going through parallel lines had the same angles in the same places, so we could figure out the special relationships or formulas for the angle pairs. Here, we're going to do the reverse. We will check if the angle pair formulas hold true or not. If they are true, that means the lines are parallel. This is called the converse of the corresponding angles, or converse of alternate interior angle theorem, or converse of alternate exterior theorem, or converse of consecutive angle theorem. And y'all know converse means reverse. Remember, from P to Q goes to Q to P. It sounds more common than it is, and let's just do a problem. So are any of these lines below parallel? If yes, name them. Now, because we don't have the parallel knot, we cannot use the four new angle pair relations. So we can't use alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding, or consecutive interior. We can only use linear pair and vertical angles for each intersection, so I'm going to do each car separately. After that, we'll check if the four new angle pair relations work or not. The shortcut is just to see if the angles are in the same places. All right, so if I solve this, you know, for here, I'm like, oh, vertical angles, 80 and 80, that did linear pair. So 180 minus 80 is 100, and then vertical angles. Here, vertical angle, linear pair, vertical angle. Here, I did linear pair, linear pair, linear pair, or you can do vertical angles, your choice. And here, linear pair, vertical angles, linear pair. All right, so now I'm checking, is line A the same as line B? Although they both have 80 and 100s, but this top left angle is 80, this top left angle is 100. These corresponding angles are not matching. Again, it's not drawn to scale either, so you, can, you must trust the numbers of the math. So A and B are not parallel. How about A and C? Top left number is 80, top left number is 110. Those are not the same. Then A and D, top left number is 80, Top left number is 80. So corresponding angles are equal here. Bottom right is 80. Bottom right is 80. Corresponding angles are equal here. 100, 100, or top right, top right. Corresponding angles are equal. 100 and bottom left, 100 bottom left. Corresponding angles are equal. Or you say, oh, look, this is alternate interior, 80 and 80, or alternate interior, 100 and 100, those are supposed to be equal. Here's alternate exterior, 80 and 80, those are equal. 100, 100, those are equal. You do same side interior at 180, so 180, make 180, that's good. So all of them are true. So lines A and D, typo, are parallel. The four new angle parallelisms hold true, any of them, and the angles are the same numbers in the same spots. All right, here's another one. Which two lines below are parallel? All right, so we have line A, B, C, and again, we can't use how they look, we have to use the numbers. So although A looks parallel to B and C looks parallel to D because they're both flat, that doesn't work. So I'm going to look at two cards at a time. We're going to check, do these numbers match? So here I'm checking if line C is parallel line D through transversal A, right? Because this is a row going through them. So are these corresponding angles equal? 105 and 120? No. So that already failed. So let me try this other one. These, I'm checking if C is parallel to D. Um, alternate interior angles are not equal, so that fails. Corresponding angles are not equal, that fails. Same side interior angles. Make 180, meaning consecutive interior, but that fails. So, nope. If you do this, you can't do, there's no uh, transverse through these two things right here, so that's no wrong. So, they'll try side by side. So, now instead of checking if C is parallel to D, I'm checking if A is parallel to B because line C is a transversal. See that? So, ignore line D. So, 105, 105, top left, top left, corresponding angles are equal. Good. Bottom right, bottom right. 105, 105, corresponding angles are equal, good. Bottom left, bottom left, 175, 75, good. Top right, top right, 75, 75, good. You could do alternate interior, 105, 105, they're equal, good. Alternate exterior, 105, 105, good. Same side interior, add from 180, 105 plus 75, it's 180, that's good. So now we know that A and B are parallel. C and D are not parallel here. All right, you could have done this as well. The angles are the same. So this checks if A and B are parallel because D is the transversal. Same angles and same spots. All right, now this is find the value of X that makes line M parallel to N. All right, so because they want us to make it parallel, we can use the formulas. We can use the four new angle pair relationship or formulas. Just identify the pair and use the formula solve. So here's 3X minus 5, here's 7X minus 15. Now, that is not an angle pair, that's same side, outside. So, consecutive exterior, but that's not an official name. So, remember, no official name pair is actually supplementary. Angle plus angle is 180, but if you don't know that, 
you can do vertical angles, corresponding angles, or a combination to eventually get a linear pair. So let's do this. I'll say, oh, the 7x minus 15 can go right here because that is vertical. Then here's no angle pair, so that fails. So then I'm like, oh, this is the same as this because that's corresponding. Oh, now I see a linear pair. These two must make 180. Or actually faster, I realize I could do corresponding right away, right here. Because those are the top right, top right angle. And then now this makes a linear pair 180. So no matter what, you should get the formula angle plus angle equals 180. So we're going to fill in the formula. 3x minus 5 plus 7x minus 15 equals 180. Combine like terms. Add 20 both sides. Divide both sides by 10. X is 20. Alright, this is for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.